Thank you for visiting my RC channel. My name is Bill and I'm a RC radio control enthusiast and I also do RC reviews. Hi, thank you for joining me for the continuation of this review of this Cadex Tarsier 4K dual lens mini FPV camera. If you haven't seen part one of my review, I did the unboxing and the basic setup and I'll put a link in the description. But when it came to fitting it onto this JEPRC Signet Pro, I found that the screws that came with this were too short. If you put it in here, there's just enough room left to put on a standoff. And not easy to fit. So I got some 1.6 millimeter by 20 millimeter screws that I'll feed through the bottom to fit this. I've also completed the harness. So this is the cable or harness that comes with it. This plugs into the OSD menu board and then I've joined the wires to plug into my FC with a cable that I had for this. I just had to swap the red and black around because it's opposites on the flight controller and the video cable the yellow goes into a white wire here. And then also just make sure the two black wires, the A, G and D and the normal ground, you also splice in and join together. Now I've also discovered that this is the bottom of the camera that's on top where it says TAS here. So the right way around of this camera, the top is where you see CADEX on the under underside. But I'm going to leave it like this and I'll show you why now. Because I can invert it 180. So if I have a look here, let's put this heat sink back on. If I turn it around, the right way around, the camera ribbon is going to be on the top. And then to try and feed it underneath, it's going to be too short if I want it coming this way. I can't put this on the underside because then I'll have difficulty getting to the SD card slot and also operating these mode buttons here. So I'm going to fit it like this with the heat sink at the bottom and then feed the wires underneath and with the ribbon cable underneath so it's out of the way and doesn't get bended or folded too much. So let me just put these screws in. Down here, make sure I get the cables tucked in neatly and the ribbon between the screw posts here. So these are the screws on now. I've just got to keep it down because they left up, but I've got quite a bit of space. So I am going to use these standoffs that are provided. Put them on top. Now this is the Wi-Fi antenna over here. Let me just get that there. It's making it a little bit tricky for this here. But I'll leave it there. Put this on the top here. And then I want to get the receiver that has this insulation base on the top now. And now I'm just going to put these nuts on to secure it. So these are the nuts uh, on and securing everything down. And I've also put this little clip on the top here uh, that helps secure the SD card in place here. It lifts up quite easily and I'll put an SD card in shortly. Now let me just put the top plate back on. So this is everything connected up now and I've plugged in this 
OSD menu board. So let me just plug in the battery. And we've got FPV. So yeah, we can see the main menus come up straight away. Because we've got the menu board plugged in. So to navigate through it, just pull the button downwards. So we've got AE, if I press enter, we've got brightness, exposure mode, advanced and return. WB press for ATW, MWB, not sure what that is, okay, and return, you can select day or night, auto, color, black and white, I'm going to put it on color, go return, Image enhancement, we can do contrast, sharpness, color gain, 3D and R. And return. Video settings. Yeah, you can choose NTSC or PAL here. So let's just go back into that. Got HD formats. Image ratio, here we can choose 4 as to 3 or 16 as to 9. So I'm going to select and leave it on 16 as to 9. Here, horizontal inverted, we can choose close or open. And vertical inverted, close or open as well. Wide dynamic range, we can choose open or closed. Put it back to open. Click on return. Select language can do reset, save or exit, and then to exit, exit. So this is for the FPV camera. And now to get into Wi-Fi, you've got to press and hold the mode button here for five seconds. So 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, 1005. Then go to your mobile phone or device and connect like this. Here we connected, we got FPV, and we can see the picture from the 4K camera now. So if we go into settings, here you can select the resolution. Select loop time, select audio, video encoding, meter mode, AWB. Exposure, ISO, LDC, Electronic Image Stabilization. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to go on and select that. But right here we got middle. I'm going to leave it in the middle. I'm not going to put it on high. Then you can also go, if we go out of here again, back into settings and select device settings here we've got a different set of settings we've got the start action car looping last mode normal video slow motion video and photo got scene mode on auto or you can put it on to personage scenery defog wi-fi if we go here yeah, we've got the name and the password. Video standard, we can 
choose PAL or NTSC. I'm going to select PAL. Yeah, we can switch inversion mode on or off. Auto sync time, do a factory reset. And then SD card format. So let me put an SD card in. So the SD card must be a minimum class 3. So this is a 32 gigabyte class 10 U3 card. And before you put it in, it must be formatted in FAT32, which this is. And never put an SD card in while the drone is powered on or the camera is powered on. Let me just lift up this little clip here. Get it in there. And that's the SD card in. And just power up again. Okay, reconnect to Wi Fi. Okay, this is it reconnected. And it doesn't seem to like connecting up when you've got 5.8 gigahertz on so if you're going to work with the wi-fi uh, it's best to do it before you power up and use and connect to 5.8 gigahertz so i'm going to go sd format here i'm going to say okay i do want to format it, it says format finished let me go out of here I'm going to just power it off. I'm just going to have a look at the SD card now and see if it did do a recording. So yes, when you power the drone on, it starts recording automatically and you can see a red blinking light here. I checked the resolution and it recorded at 3840 by 2160 at 25 frames per second according to the video properties so not at 30 frames per second and then also let me just show you here If you need to invert the picture 180 we go into the menu go into video settings and then select vertical inverter push the button to the right and it goes to open and then you can see it actually inverts it upside down press to the right and close it again and then it inverts it the other way around Now, to change it manually without connecting to Wi-Fi, you should be able to press this button here, just a short press. And then the light should change color for the different resolutions. But I cannot seem to get this to work. So it's staying on the 4K resolution. If you do press it, you can also see here that the screen goes grey so if you've got this grey with OSD on just press this button hold it in for a little while and then you'll get the normal picture back and now let me take it for a flight and get some video footage so we can see what the quality is like let's take the Tarsio for a cruise and get some video So as you can see, a very disappointing result. 
but the FPV camera was fine, as you can see here. So I took everything apart again, redid the wiring, remounted it to see if it would be any better. But still not any better. And then I saw on a forum where somebody suggested that I should disable the EIS, the Electronic Image Stabilization. So I went into the app and I disabled the Electronic Image Stabilization. And Eureka, core blimey, bless my cotton socks, voila, what do you know, or whatever you like to call it. Ironically, disabling EIS did the trick. Finally, a good result after all the setbacks. FPV camera is good on this, and I'm also pleased with the result of the 4K camera now too. So I've shared these pitfalls and setbacks with you, so that if you do get this, it will help you get getting it mounted and working properly. 
And then lastly, the 4K video you've seen here has got rendered down into 1080p because it's integrated. So I'll post the 4K raw video separately and put a link in the description where you can see this in full 4K too. So please subscribe, like, comment and share if you like my videos.